Hello and welcome to another video. So today we are going to be talking about how to chain in Doodle World. So of course, how do you even start chaining? Well, you will need the tally counter which can be get at Graphite Lodge at the help center request. After you've gotten the tally counter, each time you kill a Doodle, there should be a number appearing at the top of your screen or at the bottom if you click this it will show the percentage of the chances of you encountering that specific type of doodle whether it be with a skin or a misprint as well as a hidden trait each time you kill that specific type of doodle the number will go up as well as the chances of getting those things listed above so that was basically the basics of the basics of chaining and now let's go into a bit more detail into it first of all you would want a team like this as shown on the screen the squally is used for its mimic trait which will let you see the opponent's trait so if you're chaining for a hidden trait or a specific type of trait this will be very useful the next thing is the starry glasses it is an item that shows how many stars the opponent the opponent have this will make it much more better so that you can capture high star tier doodles so ah, okay i forgot what to say next so that you can capture high star tier noodles doodles not noodles oh my god the next doodle is jelly menace i don't know how to pronounce its name but you will need its straight incandescent which makes it so that the chances of encountering higher star dear higher star tier doodles will appear the next doodle is swoop tar with hunter trait this doodle is one of the most important doodles you will need for chaining as it increases the chance of encountering the doodle you are chaining i'm saying a lot of doodles right now so now a lot of people misunderstand the hunter trait this trait does not activate upon chain it only activates when your chain is above 10 so that means if it's below 10, the chances of getting that doodle is still the same. It won't go up. It only goes up when it's the chain is above 10 with a hunter trait. So, yeah. So another way to get around this is by using the ticket, the chain ticket. You can get this via Robux or the shoulder or by going to the social park by using vp you can get vp by battling other players so you know it's good for free to play players so now let's talk about something very important if you're chaining and your chain is not above 50 and you accidentally killed another doodle that you are not chaining your chain will be replaced with a doodle you just killed and your previous chain will be erased from existence so be very careful if your chain is not above 50. so if your chain is above 50 however even if you kill another doodle the chain will not go away this chain can only be broken if you capture a doodle so now here's something that you don't need to do but i suggest you doing go to the doodlepedia and go to the doodle you are chaining so for example i'm chaining arkuma right now so let's go to that click the briefcase button and as you can see it shows arkuma skin you might see some of them are blacked out by clicking the skins you can block other skins from appearing so if you're looking for a specific skin you will want just block the other skin so that you have a higher chance of encountering the skin you want. That's basically it for this video and I hope this video helped you. Yeah, goodbye.